morning guys welcome back to today's video we missed yesterday's video we missed yesterday's vlog and we missed mother's day sam's just getting home from a physio so since we missed mother's day i was thinking I we could miss mother's day i was thinking we could have a do-over i didn't miss mother's day well, I mean, they gave me presents and we had some food, but I ended up having a family emergency, not my family, but not our family, but like extended family. We ended up being away for the entire day. All the things, all the acts of service that I wanted it done, didn't get done. Some of them got done. What got done? Um, the branches that were down there. That yeah, so there were some branches that he had cut down by the apple tree I wanted picked up. I wanted to plant my garden. I wanted some work done on the chicken coop. I wanted some, there's just a bunch of things that I wanted done and it didn't get done. So hopefully I can get some help with that today. Even though everything went wrong yesterday, like everything went wrong, I still had the best day. Even though I didn't get my mother's day exactly the way that I wanted it, I still had so much fun and to be fair, being a mom is such a, oh, crap. Being a mom is such crap, I dropped my phone. Wasn't that a Freudian slip? <laughs> That's so funny. When you have a Freudian slip, it's when like, you mean to say one thing and then something else comes out, but it's really accurate. Being a, a mom is such a crap job sometimes. But I feel like it's a privilege. Being a mom is a privilege. Being a parent is a privilege and I'm just so grateful that I got to be a mom five times and I have grandkids and I have goats. <laughs> being able to have a good time, even when bad things are happening, being able to be happy when bad things are happening, I think is a choice. There was a time though that I didn't think it was a choice. I thought that it can, that happiness depended upon your situation. I thought that happiness only could happen when you had everything exactly the way you wanted it so that you could be happy. But the truth is, don't be mean to Cricket. <laughs> she's, so, she's so feisty. The truth is that if you can learn to be happy no matter what happens, no matter what your circumstances, no matter where you are in life, and no matter how many of the things that and no matter how many of your dreams have come true, then you are way ahead of the game because happiness truly is a choice. You can't let that hard stuff get you down, especially just a ruined day. For some reason, we now have chickens in with goats. Oh, I wanted three things done for Mother's Day. I wanted this trailer out of here. I wanted the tires in the ground. I have the exact right spot for it so that the babies can play. And I want to finish my chicken coop. That's it. Those are the only three things that I wanted for acts of service. But I have to tell you, even though the day was topsy-turvy and there was a lot going on, I still had the best Mother's Day. Sam bought me a cake for Mother's Day. I don't know if I have a clip from it. And I'll show you here. This is what happened at the beginning of the day before everything went crazy and we ended up not vlogging. But Sam bought me a cake and it was the first year. The first year that we didn't all fight about the cake because Gabby only likes chocolate. Sam only likes chocolate. Well, Sam likes a few things, but Gabby only likes chocolate. Sam is picky. Sophie is picky. I like what I like. And this year he bought a cake that every single one of us like. It's a flavor that every single one of us liked. Gabby only likes chocolate or this. I love this kind of cake. So he got really lucky uh, with the cake that he picked. Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Sunday, it's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I've been up early, Gabby's finally up. We're getting coffee. I already got coffee, but we're getting coffee for Gabby. We're going out to get stuff we didn't get last time or yesterday, which was shavings, which is terrible because when you get shavings, on Sunday, there's only a limited number of stores open that you can get shavings at. And one is PV Mart or TSC, PV Mart in Canada. And all the co-op stores and some tax stores around our area are all closed, so you can't get shavings. Isn't that crazy? Sucks for us, but we're also on the hunt for a cake for Mother's Day. Getting 
your mother a cake. And uh, what what's her favorite cake? I found out this today. It's crazy. Black Forest. Ah, I said Black Forest too, and you know what she said? I hate Black Forest. No, she does not. <laughs> so what's her favorite cake? Carrot cake. So we're gonna go get a fancy carrot cake today. All right, I'm on a hunt for a carrot cake. Carrot cake. No. Hey, there's a little carrot cake. Forgot to buy bananas. But here's the cake. You can't see it, but can you guess which one I got? Can you guess? Well, you know what kind of cake it is. <laughs> but there's a whole bunch of cake there. I got the biggest carrot cake they got. The smaller one was a lot nicer, but I got the biggest one. Cricket is so funny. Look at how cute she looks. She's so funny because she she like gets really feisty and she throws her legs around, throws her head around, tosses her head. <laughs> She's so funny. I wanted it out of here so that my field can be nice again. So you guys know that these three fields, one, two, and three are our goat fields. The grass is growing really nice. It's perfect for the goats to eat, just like horses. It's important for the goats to eat the grass when the grass gets higher for different reasons. For horses, it's about how much sugar is in the grass. And for goats, it's about how close to the ground the grass is that they're eating because parasites are close to the ground. So two different reasons, but, they're, but it's important for them to both have grass that's at the right height for them to eat so right now we're letting the grass grow the goats are out eating the grass all the time now they still eat hay i'm still feeding them a lot of hay but they're eating the grass and eventually because goats and horses are really good together you can raise them together without them sharing parasites so eventually whatever the goats don't eat this will be like a last field for the horses to come in and mow everything down today sam doesn't know yet <laughs> But I want him to make like a little playground area right here. So if you guys can see this grass has already been eaten down all the way and it actually hasn't grown very much. So my goal is to put some tires in the ground over here and for him to fix that up and make like a little bridge and then we'll have like a little playground in here for the for the goats. But it is almost summer. I don't know if you can see, but we have go we have birds flying everywhere. Chickens in the goat barn. When we moved in, this was all weeds, all of it. And now a lot of it is this really nice, rich grass. Oh, oh no, <laughs> you gotta brush her. Okay, I brush her and she gets even more. Better. It rained, it rained in the night. Well, every time I bring you down here, you hate it. She'd probably like it today. Storm. He's freaking out. He's like, oh, I want to go down there too. Watch, he's going to jump that fence. Don't you even, he's mad. Uh-oh. I also have this ladder that I can add for the goats. Oh my gosh. If she was brushed, she would look so cute in there. Storm is freaking out. Yeah, she already gets the luscious grass. Wait, just wait, sorry boy. Very soon you're getting a new girlfriend. Yeah, kind of gets a new Penny gets a new best friend. Penny's like, girlfriend, what are you talking about? <laughs> yep, do you hear? <laughs> Everybody's freaking out. Yeah, she's shedding out. She sheds out in the weirdest spots. Should we let them all down here for a minute? No. <laughs> yeah, no. that would be crazy. Because now Penny's freaking out. Honey. I might take her for a little walk Honey. and let her have some grass. Honey, I know, they're, they're chicken. Oh no. Honey, don't chase my chickens. Uh oh, get that baby goat. <laughs> there was a, I know. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah. Sophie's trying to make a fake halter. I know how to make one, but my brain's not. Her brain is not braining. Okay, I need the end of that. In the past, we've always waited until the grass got to the right height so that the horses would be healthy and we wouldn't risk like colic. And we've got a lot of flack for it. It's something that is super important to us though. And I think that a lot of people who get upset when we do that are people that live in different uh, climates or people who have like horses in a pasture with grass all winter. So when, stop, stop getting upset you guys. She's coming back. Sophie and I are gonna take a walk around the pasture and see how along the grass is. Do you know where my stick is, Sam? My measuring stick? She looks cute. I No, I just love her. I love a wide-faced horse, but look at this. Let's see, see her face is, see her face is too colored? Wait, put your head up. Look, just let me show them your face. It's because she's shedding out on her Face. All right, let's go. You gotta help me get the gate. First day of spring, and I just wanna sing to everything that's moving, every single little thing. To them birds flying free, fish in the sea. Every little bumblebee I want to sing Ooh Ah mm -hmm. Oh To the kids playing hoops Going loop So if he doesn't have a proper halter She made a halter She needs to learn to walk with anything Willow could walk without uh, What a good girl Good girl. She looks cute, although she's dirty and shedding. Her nose is great. They're like, yes, it's tire time. The rainbow colored bouncy balls and their ice cream scoops. Got my shoes in my hand. <gasps> I want to get my little jump tires. <laughs> Sophie's like imagining Willow jumping the tires. There are these little black bugs. There are these little tiny bugs and they land on you. We're swarmed by them. They're so bad this year. And they bite. But look you guys, we are we are we are doing it. We are making quite the little playground here for them. Our goats are eating, that's all they like to do. But now we have a little playground for them and I'm super excited. So we put it over here because the grass doesn't grow that much over here. That's all we have right now. I'm gonna put something else. I don't know what, Sam has plans too. But I love it, it's so cute. The only other thing that I really wanna move is this thing. I hate it sitting here. The goats love it, they run around it. You guys are so cute. It is starting to rain now. <laughs> out of all of the animals that we have on this farm, which ones do you think stress me out the most? And I don't mean that I hate them or they're like super stressful, but which ones do you think are the most work, like the most, Annoying, <laughs> I guess. That's another one of the jobs I want done, cleaned out. So Sam got some more skids that he's gonna use for a project. A super fun project with the goats. I took my beloved rope halter in and washed it, getting it ready for show season. I know, getting it ready for riding season for me. It's the dogs, it's the dogs that drive me crazy. You guys, it's pouring rain outside. They all came in. <laughs> They're like, help! It just started pouring rain. You guys are so cute. Hi, Stormy boy. I love being in the barn during rainstorms. It's my favorite, especially when it's warm outside. Be nice. Be nice, ponies. 
So I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out what we're gonna do with Sophie's horse. I told you guys. Whoa, she smacked her head. I told you guys we're gonna bring her home. Uh, we probably, we might take her back uh, for Sophie to ride like in lessons. We might take her back and leave her there for the summer, like for a couple of weeks, for a few weeks in the summer during like show season and stuff so that Sophie has an opportunity to ride her a lot this summer, unless we get our outdoor in really quick, which I want it in. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to figure out like, how am I gonna introduce her? Because the way we are taught to introduce horses is just doesn't work for me. So I don't know, but we have opportunity on this farm to like close gates and separate her. I just don't think she hasn't been on grass. So we just have to watch for that. Do they need more food? I love that they can just come in when it's raining though. Like I love it. Tim so like, so caring. He gives them hay if it's raining outside. He gives them hay inside because obviously they want to be inside. I hear thunder too. I love thunderstorms. But Gabby and Sophie are at the mall by themselves because that's what happens when you give, a, give your daughter a license in a car. Yeah. So Sam and I are having like a date night in the barn with the animals. We told them to bring us home food. <laughs> so now we're waiting. So one of our new pets, I told you guys we have a few new pets coming to this farm this summer. We have turkeys due to hatch on Friday. I know there's one egg in my incubator that is bad. I can smell it. I just don't like to, even though I've candled them, I don't like to throw out an egg just in case I make a mistake. And actually they're hard to tell. The turkey eggs are hard to tell. But besides the hurt turkey eggs that are, should be hatching by Friday, we have one more pet that's ready to be picked up on Friday. So be ready for Friday. Oh. And you gotta pick it up. What's, what is it? So put your guesses below what you think is coming on Friday. It's gonna be a fun, exciting day, or it's gonna be stressful, whatever way you wanna look at it. All Sophie's horses have short tails, every single one of them. <laughs> but we're gonna have to lay down the rules and she's not gonna be able to cut her new horse's tail. But he's itchy, these bugs, I'm telling you, these little bugs are so itchy, it's awful, they bite. To be honest, I'd like to sell Gracie because all my grandkids are getting big enough that they could ride Storm, but it's hard to sell Gracie because her baby, and we're definitely not selling her baby. But I feel like Gracie would love to have, she's young enough and fit and like she's, she's, she's a good little pony. She could find a little girl that would love to ride her or a little boy. So I don't know what will happen. I just don't want to take, I hate the idea of taking Honey's mom away from her. Don't you know that you're beautiful?